Okay, and we're back. Hello. Axiom Verge will begin. All right. If you remember last time we played Axiom Verge, we got a fuckload of weapons. Ah, oh, shit, hang on. And I'm looking for the map I had previously, which I no longer have, actually. Um, Axiom Verge, item, map. Does anyone have that again? I'm glad it worked, Twitchy. Enjoy the game. I think it's a lot of fun. So we've got nine hours in Axiom Verge. I think we're we're really getting pretty close to the end here. I'm not going to 100% it. I just want to get most, if not all, of the weapons. And then I don't need to get all the little shit. I just need to get, like, the big stuff. So this is one of the new weapons I got. It's a flamethrower, and it is overpowered. Thank you. Thank you for the map. Got it. So we're gonna go up here first. So this weapon locks onto enemies and just do fucking destroys them. It's it's amazing. That and the flamethrower are the two newest weapons I got and they are broken. Or as broken as weapons in this game can get. That is so satisfying. Holy shit. Whoever finds this Sudra is miraculous. The fact that I've been healed attests to that. But it is too dangerous to bring this technology back to Earth. Whatever happened here was catastrophic, the ramifications extending to everyone. We are going upstream, upstream to the filter, or whatever lies beyond for answers. Upstream, that's not a bad band name, is it? Upstream, maybe like downstream. I thought Metroid Fusion was a good game. I, I enjoyed it. Metroid Fusion, it wasn't my favorite Metroid, but I, I really, really liked it. That One day I'm going to stream that again, because I've only ever played through it once. And um, it'll feel like a new game for me. Oh, I forgot to change the ticker, whoops. It's not even called a ticker. A ticker is something that ticks across the, state, the, the thing, the screen. A ticker is, on a technical level, Something that you see at the bottom of your TV screen, like, during the news. Which, it used to be during the live stream days of this stream. It used to be like, oh, okay, there's the ticker. You update the ticker. But, um... Not so much. Now it's just a title. So 
so there's another weapon there's a homing missile weapon thing that I, I kind of wanted to get but that's apparently not close so that last weapon is it in a random glitch location found in the secret world. Yeah, I've, I've heard. There is something up here that I want to get while I'm here. Bust, Bustin' Jeeber. It's funny because years, years and years after the Ghostbuster theme song, Bustin' makes me feel good. One of my friends was like, yeah, Bustin makes me feel good. I was like, that's, yeah, that's that's what Bustin does, makes you feel good. He was like, you know, and I'm like thinking he's just making this up. He's like, no, no, that's the Ghostbuster song lyrics. Like, that's what he sings. He sings that Bustin makes him feel good. And then I just, I, my, I was just standing there, mouth agape. Like, that was in that song all those years. I didn't know. All those years, I didn't know that busting made him feel good. Or what it meant. I thought it was innocent. I thought it was just about busting ghosts. It wasn't just about busting ghosts. It was never just about busting ghosts. weapon's pretty cool, too. Actually, come to think of it, most weapons in this game are pretty goddamn cool. favorites not to use but just conceptually I enjoy that this weapon just fires random pink sperms in random directions I told my friend Billy about the sherbet thing that I told you guys about and uh, he he got a kick out of it he's the one that first said that so he's he's enjoying very much that guys are that you guys are getting a kick out of his get the sherbet nonsense Despite this gun not being a um, accurate and not making a whole lot of sense, it's still really fucking powerful. And it just... You just press the button and you'll end up hitting something. think about the upcoming female Ghostbusters movie. If it's well written, then I'm on board. I don't care that, you know, they're, they're all female, they could be all male, they could be half female, half male. That doesn't matter to me. I mean, that's 
you know, everyone talks like, oh, it's an all-female cast. That's cool. I'm worried about the script. Because Ghostbusters 2 wasn't that good. And if it's well-directed, you know, Harold Ramis is dead. And he was a vital component about, you know, Ghostbusters. And it's sad that he's no longer with us, but that makes me worry about Ghostbusters 3. It has to be a good movie. It can't just be a cash-in. You know, I don't care, again, I don't care who's in it, I don't care what's in it. As long as the movie is good, it's good. So, my hopes are not very high, to be totally honest. Is this? Oh, this is like a thing. I can't get up here. Well, let's see what's up here anyway. Probably have most of this stuff. Uh, oh, this is where the final area is, eventually. There's a weapon up here. Fuck it, let's let's get the weapon. Let's get the sherbet. Oh, this music is cool. I forgot about that. I liked it. It's like the little parts of the song. A lot of the music in this game sounds like music that I would have made for my Sibilance album, actually. So eager to get these mixes. We have six songs done. It's like, I just want them to be mixed and mastered. That said, there's this particular song, the last song we did for the album, and this is the rock album I'm talking about, is so good that I don't want to show you guys right away until the album is done. Because... I really think that this one needs to be, like, put online. Um, it needs to be put online, like, while the album is fully complete and out. Because I think the song is really, really good and catchy. And, uh, and, I'm really, and we're, we're all actually really proud of it. So, but that said, in the next few weeks, I will have another song to show you guys. It just... It's going to be not the one I'm talking about, though. It'll be a different one. How the fuck do I get over there? Dilu Dallas, Multipass. Getting a new weapon right now. Um, 
am I finishing this tonight? I don't know. I'm, I'm just right now. I'm still weapon hunting, but I think we're getting really close to the end and I could finish this right now. I'm really close to the last area. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I, I want to check the map and see how many more weapons there are to go. And I want to see if maybe I can get that other cool weapon. But that one might take too long and I might just skip it. Because it's in the glitch areas at random. Trace. Uh, wow, Alsnova? Yes, drones repaired my body before other Rusalki. Trace, I am sorry for my reaction earlier. You should not carry blame for Athetos' crime. Okay. Ahead is elevator to Breach. Athetos is inside. I do not ask you to kill him. Just shut down Breach Attractor. But he will try to stop you. As always, there is weak point. Find and destroy it. Once Breach recedes, I can help. But I cannot survive in Breach, so be careful. Athetos lives, okay. We can lock him up or something, but no killing. No killing. Thank you. So, this is you? I was originally a soldier. Does it frighten you? I think I was already at some point beyond fear. Oh, crap, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, thanks for apologizing. Please don't kill me again. I won't. Be careful. Athetos is devious. You cannot trust him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh my sweet fucking god. That is horrifying. I have some theories about what's going to happen, but I'm going to just keep them to myself. Ah! Oh, yes! No! Oh, fuck! God damn, I thought I did it, and then I didn't do it. Taking damage or something? Guys, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, there you go. What the fuck are these things? Turbine pulse. Spinning charged particle blades release discrete pulses of energy. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, and there was a thing there. Alright, I'm checking the map. Well, there's something down there I'm gonna get while I'm here. How the fuck do I get down there? Uh, 
Um, guys, any thoughts on how to get down here? Teleport down. I tried. Teleport down by left door. Oh, okay. I was right there, too. This thing looks like a chain gun. You know. I have almost every weapon. I'm missing... How many am I missing? What is that thing? I don't have that one. And Absu. I see something. Let me give this a shot. And then I'll come back here. I can rush through really quick. I want to get one more thing that I see immediately, and then I want to try to see if there's anything else. But. Secret area there. So never mind. All right. Um. Yeah. There's there's a weapon semi close by. There's a lot of fucking shit on this map that I missed. Amazed. I thought I was doing pretty good with secret hunting. Not really. There should be a secret area over here. There's some question marks. To in Indy? No, we're not going to Indy. We don't want any Indy games. We're going to Absu. All right. Okay. Ironic, as I am playing an indie game right now. So the fucking glitch locations are random. So for example, right there, there's supposed to be a glitch location. It's not there. Okay. I actually 
actually have an idea. Where, where's the last place I saved? Okay, I'm not gonna save. I'm not gonna hit up a save point because I actually want to um, die after I get this item and then I can teleport back. not. I lied. It's this way. And this way. No, it's not this way. Fuck. Sorry if this is a little bit boring. It's secret hunting. This is kind of just how it is in these style games. This whole area, for example. This weapon's pretty good, too. Eshinima. You barely understand the technology that surrounds you, yet claim to protect it. It will crush us all once it fails. At least grant us access to your rebirth chambers. Do that, and I will consider being less bitter over what came before. Yeah. I mean, it seems simple. Just give them the rebirth. Give them the af afterbirth chambers. Speaking of afterbirth, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with uh, Ed's blog, but Binding of Isaac expansion is looking pretty good. And he's been showing off some new shit, and I'm getting kind of hyped. And it's like, there's still so much I haven't seen in just the base Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And I'm still hyped for all the new shit. satisfying. I'm surprised I haven't done any of this yet. I guess I just never return here. I've only been to this area the one time, I guess. Here's a thing, I don't even know what this is. What the hell is this? Range, oh, range, okay. Where applicable. So for example, this weapon. I, I can't tell. I'm sure it is, but I can't tell. Okay, that I can kind of tell a little bit. That, that definitely has a bit more range. This weapon's awesome. It's like the fucking Spazer from Super Metroid. And uh, 
that's not even what I was here for. There's another thing. There's the weapon that I came here for. Oh, there's just nothing over that way? Okay. Oh god, make it go away. Oh god, I'm trapping myself. here. I don't have the chat open right now because I have this map going, so give me, give me a second if anyone's talking to me, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sure there's people talking to me that I probably wouldn't be able to respond to anyway, so never mind. It, it's par for the course. Conversation with A3. Who are you? I am Talal. What are you doing here? Udog Hull. What does Udog Hull mean? Unintelligible. Demon. What does it look like? Is Talal an Udog Hull? No. What is Talal? What happened to Athetos? I am Athetos, but you just said you are Talal. How can you beat Athetos if you are Talal? I am Talal. Who do you think I am? Athetos. Why did you attack me? No response. Do you remember attacking me? Talal, attack, demon. Man, I'm sure there's a lot of weird shit that I'm missing and a lot of cool shit that I'm missing in this story, but I just don't know anymore. <laughs> it's like I'm so lost. Data bomb. Okay. This probably would have come in more handy in another situation. It might be too late for this weapon to be useful. But it shoots data! And now... I have to... Actually, let's go this way. Now I have to meet my maker. It's gonna take a long time, I think. I don't think these donuts and corrupted donuts are going to be enough to make this go quickly. So what's weird about this is, I don't know if there's another full row of weapons, but if there is, I can't see them on the map. Like, I've been looking and, and I don't know if... Like, I have... What's that thing? I have that thing. Have. I'm looking on the map right now, and I see all weapons I already have. And, uh... I don't know. I don't know how many are left. There's also two spots for items down here. So I'm just not sure what that's about. Alright, chat is now open. I got the map off. Anyone who's got this game or knows the game pretty well, are all those spots... Item hidden in the blocks? Are all those spots, um... Taken up by weapons? Oh shit, yeah, there is an item in there.
somewhere. Where exactly? Like here? No? Shit. It's supposedly right here. I think I already got it. Alright, so once again, is there actually, um, are all the weapon slots actually completely, like, does this whole thing fill up, this whole row? They don't fill up? Okay. Should be getting on. The room with the storm text, there's breakable blocks in the ceiling. You might want to see it. I don't know where the storm text is. This is a lot of stuff. I would imagine I'm passing several items along the way, but it's just a matter of spending how much time trying to find these items as opposed to actually finishing the damn game. Which I, I want to do, but I think I think at this point I'm probably just going to try to finish the game. As, as much as I would love to see more of the items. Okay, well, I think we, we did pretty well. Here's how many items I have. Okay, so now... Uh, I need something to kill me. You can kill me. No, you can't. Pathetic damage, Jesus. After I beat the boss, there's there's probably no chance I'm going to revisit this game. Because I want to finish Final Fantasy VII. I want to get to Bayonetta 2. And I want to get to... Um, I think South Park, Stick of Truth. I think I might be streaming soon. After Final Fantasy VII. None of these enemies do any damage worth a damn. So that means I'm going to have to... Get there manually. <clears throat> I've never played Stick of Truth, so I'm really, really excited to try it, and I have it now courtesy of a kind viewer whose name I will remember when I actually begin streaming it. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3 is also going to happen which will be my first time playing Metal Gear Solid 3. That will probably be after Stick of Truth. Or Bayonetta 2, whichever one I finish first. I usually like to have two, like, big games going on at the same time. And Final Fantasy 7 is, is a replay. Obviously, I've played that game before. I've streamed it once before, many years ago. And Metal Gear Solid 3 is completely blind. 
Bayonetta 2 completely blind, Stick of Truth completely blind, so I'll be playing some new games. Um, Splatoon single player is almost done, but that's such a short single player that I didn't even really... I figure I'd do a few matches and do some single player, and it, it, it amounts to a fun stream. But, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I got some really fucking cool games on the horizon. I can't fucking wait to stream. Will I stream Terraria after 1.3 comes out? Sure. Yeah, I, I love Terraria, actually. I, I really, really spend a lot of time with Terraria. It's probably too much time with Terraria, so... I will probably end up streaming that for the update. Maybe once or twice. Nah, Vappy doesn't have to censor anything for the Full Sauce channel with South Park. I promise you, there's tons of South Park um, Stick of Truth playthroughs on, on YouTube. All you have to do for those streams, if Vappy's listening, really all you gotta do is just make a disclaimer about adult content. And um, I think you can set... Like, there's a setting on YouTube where you can specifically say that this video has adult content. They show balls? That's fine. That's fine. It's just balls. Everyone's got them. Mostly. Vappy went to bed a while ago. Alright. Well, I'll talk to Vappy about it. But yeah, when I do South Park, I'll tell him he doesn't need to censor anything. Vappy's a brave soul for even even censoring the strip club segment in GTA. Confirming YouTube vids can be marked with adult content. Yes, that is that is true. So yeah, Vappy, he can just leave it and just make a disclaimer and say, look, there will be balls. Like I'll do it. I'll <laughs> at the beginning of the South Park Stick of Truth videos on Full Sauce, I will make a um, an annotation. This video contains balls. Turn back if you are offended by cartoon balls. And again, you know, Hootie streamed Stick of Truth a while back. And I know that tons of other streamers have streamed Stick of Truth. So as disgusting as that game is supposed to be, I'm sure it's fine for streaming. At the end of the day, it still fits under an M-rated video game. items for this part. Okay, this this song kind of reminds me of there's a Mars Volta song called In Absentia. It's the same thing. Very very similar progression. Listen, I hate to be cheap, but you've left me with no choice. Time to bust out the cheap weapon. So, how many of you here tonight are actually here because of the YouTube annotation? 
that said I am live on Twitch right now. Just pure curiosity. I'm wondering if it actually worked. It's a feature that's been a feature for like a year and I didn't even know about it. And I didn't even make any attempt until recently. people. Well, I mean, I know, I know most of you here are, you know, here from the Twitter or from, um, email, because Twitch sends out emails, and I appreciate you guys coming. I really do. I don't know if I, if I express that enough. But it is, it's still mind-blowing that people actually come here and hang out and watch, watch me stream video games. It's, it's awesome. But, yeah, I was wondering if this thing actually worked. Let me see something. Let me, let me try, let me just make sure it actually is working right now. Um... Yeah, it's working. That's cool. What in the name of fuck is this thing? It's like a security drone. Flamethrower cheap. Bullet hell time. Okay, all right, taking damage. I I've got pink sperm too, you know. Is there a point to killing this guy? Bet. to go back and see what was on the other thing. Up here there's some stuff. It's probably just a save point. Yeah, it's just a save point. <laughs> Don't you love that? When you like, you commit to a direction and it's the way to go. And then you come back, it's like, oh, save point, great. Graffiti Kingdom will be an occasionality because that game is batshit crazy. And um, I'm hoping people will eventually send me their save files so I can, uh, I can check out some really bizarre creations. Also, speaking of gra Graffiti Kingdom, I found the Hardo Gay video. And you guys are going to be amazed. This Joel actually showed me this a while back. And uh, it, it was just too amazing. Um, I don't do face cam because honestly, I don't really... I don't feel like animating my face. Like, because most of the time I'm just staring at a computer screen. And... Um, uh, look, I'm, I'm one of those streamers that I'm not opposed to face cam, but I don't personally like to do it. I know some people would love for me to face cam because that's just what, what it's all about. A lot of streamers do it, and I, I've gotten a lot of requests to do it, but, um, you know, that would mean I have to, like, not look dead. I'd have to, like, get good lighting. And I just don't feel like doing any of that shit. Like, I might have to clean my house behind me a little bit. And it's like, no, I'd like to live in squalor and filth. Let me live in squalor and filth, guys. Come on.
also, for me, the reason the face cam doesn't work for me is... Again, you know, there's like a neutral position when you're playing video games, which is just to have this dead look in your eyes. That's the video game look, alright? That's, that's what- I'm proud of that look. It took me many years to cultivate this look. And I'm proud- I'm really proud of it. However, it's not very flattering. So therefore, you know, I don't really think it's necessary for other people to have to be exposed to it. And, uh, I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather not have to fake facial expressions just to keep you guys entertained. I think the full game and voice is my perfect combination. That's just my opinion. And some people face cam, it works well. I really do. I, I really do think it works well for some people. For me, it probably wouldn't. But, um, Vegemite. I have to eat some Vegemite soon, so I will be on cam for that. Vegemite. I gotta corrupt the androids. Vegemite is this weird Australian yeasty, salty paste that you put on buttered toasts that I've seen people just eat like a spoonful of it and uh, it's apparently really bad tasting. On its own. Apparently, a thin layer of it on toast is amazing. But, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll find out soon. Sometime before too many games. Maybe during too many games. Oh my god, maybe I should bring the Vegemite to too many games. We would need toast, though. I would need butter and toast at too many games, and I don't think there's a toaster there, so I might have to pass on that. Go through the floor in that room? What? There's more in, in this room? No. Oh, the fucking barrier's up again. You can go down where the item was. Alright. Uh, I'll return there in a, in a moment. That's right, there is more I Am Bread update. Looks like I might be streaming I Am Bread again at some point soon. So what, now they're just in the other room exclusively?
I am doing a panel at Too Many Games Friday, 5 p.m. This Friday coming up, 5 p.m. It's just a Q&A. Um, Kazoo's will be there. And I don't know what else yet. I haven't really considered it. Why don't these fuckers work? Oh! You have to drag them to the same spot in the other room. While glitched. How do you drag them? What do you mean? Like, you just... I got lucky the first time this happened. I've streamed Shovel Knight, and I will be streaming the DLC when it comes out, too. can't drag them through a wall. The furthest right at the bottom. What is the item I'm missing anyway? Okay, hang on, there's one over here. There it is. All right, finally. Oh, it's just text. God damn it. It wasn't worth it, man. Weapon fragment and a node. Ancient days, the black headed retreated from the world. When after days of war, the carrion bird circled. Graves were filled with the caskets. The lone orphan plowed the barley. Now, at that time, primordial patterns laid to rest and their masters banished but just as the seeds of the next harvest are sown so too did kings plot and plan for the next battle they did they scheme and make secret dealings far to the east <coughs> where the sea and the mountains meet is a cave dug out by the crashing waves here the kings conspired and set aside the greatest of primordial fires Dinger Gisbert with its name is the key, it lays in wait until that day when the next Masters of Patterns again reap the harvest. Yep, all of that. Exactly. Pigma Dengar. Danger Gage Bird. I already, <laughs> I already did Dingar Gesbar. That's the code. That's the secret. It's it's a puzzle for getting a weapon. That. 
health. I wonder what health tastes like. Like in all these games, you just like pick up health. I wonder what it tastes like. Because they're eating it. They're just eating pure health. Wrong, it's it's me at the toast. Obey me. Demon at the toast say kill. That was worth a try. It looks like I'm not actually trapped here, so maybe I can just pass through. So is there any negatives to not defeating that boss? I don't even know where this fucker went. No penalty. Alright, it's, it's fine by me. No health going on right now. Okay, so you hear the, um... You hear the way the music went, right? For this? Bear with me a second. I just want you to hear the beginning of this Mars Volta song from their last album. Because it really, really is... It's not the same exact thing, but there's there's a melody line in there that's that's similar. And it's... It's kind of driving me crazy. Time for VOD muting. fucking song anyway anyway yeah it's just that one thing i was just making sure i wasn't crazy it's um the song is called in absentia by mars volta i recommend if that enticed you the song gets better and weirder if you're like into weird shit like if you like pond like some of the weird sounds they use then you probably like mars volta's last album because I feel like they were kind of going in a pop, psychedelic direction. And then they just broke up. It's like, alright, never mind. Stand there and take damage. It's a lot of fun. The song is called In Absentia by Mars Volta, whoever's asking. Okay, 
So, you know when you enter a room that has no music, shit's about to get real. Suspicions were correct. Rebirth logs show that a man named Athetos came here once before, hundreds or possibly thousands of years ago. What? Possibly thousands? Gotta hit up that save point. If you don't remember the story, Trace is Athetos, apparently. So, it's you. Yes, I've been wondering when you'd come. It's been a long time since I've seen another human. What is this contraption you're in? Are you okay? It protects me from the pathogen. Previously used a much more portable device, but I saw you destroyed it. This ungainly machine merely prolongs my demise. Is it true that you released the pathogen on the whole world intentionally? Yes. Then you'd better do some explaining. If I tell you too much, your captors will have to kill you. But try this. Long ago this world, Sudra was the doorway to an unrivaled civilization. Like a port on the way to the smartest, or greatest rather, nation ever envisioned. But the port had a collapse. By the time I came, they barely remembered who they were. They regarded their own technology with superstition and religious re reverence. When I first crossed the breach from Earth to Sudra, I was expecting to find enlightenment. Instead, I discovered that they were using the breach to keep out the greater universe. In their superstitious culture, the outside universe is taboo. For this, I do not regret removing the main obstacle in my path. You'd resort to genocide just for that? Imagine millennia of scientific, cultural, and technological progress. A civilization so advanced that our world is paleolithic by comparison. That is what lies beyond the breach. Death, disease, war, famine. These could be things of the past. But the Sudrans were obstinate. Obstinate. This was the forbidden fruit. The loss of a single people balanced against the whole of humanity. How else could I choose? Well, you did it. You have the breach tractor now. Why not just shut it down? The Risaki were the flaw in my plan. They are masters of war. If I disable the breach tractor, I free them too. But Trace, with you at my side, we have a chance. Will you help me? Hmm, let me think about that for a bit. Okay, I thought about it, and my answer is... Hell no, you self-righteous jerk. So be it then. <laughs> Hell no, you self-righteous jerk. I see what I have to do. Oh, you can corrupt them. Zoomed out. Activity. Things are happening. Oh shit. It's Els Nova. Oh my god, that is fucking horrifying. I, 
I, I want to side with Athetos. He seems like an alright guy. Compared to that fucking giant mechanical snake thing. The reason this fight seems easy is because of the flamethrower. Plain and simple. Flamethrower is pretty much overpowered, so... Oh, I gotcha. No, she's helping. Seems like an alright guy. So it appears I have lost. El Snova, we did it. The breach is gone. Sorry, but there is one more thing I need to do. You're going to kill him, aren't you? He can't do anything now. Just leave him. Unfortunately, that's not a chance we can take. This was inevitable, Trace. Do not blame yourself, Athetos. So that's it. I'll never know if... I mean, what if he could have been redeemed? Trace, you are not him. He chose lo wrongly, not you. But now it is time for you to go home. Go home? As the clone of a mass murderer? What's even there for me? <clears throat> Do not worry, we have taken care of it. What's happening? I'm suddenly exhausted. Rest now. Perhaps we'll meet again sometime? Wait. As for what happened next, I was back, but this was different. It was as if nothing ever happened. The laser lab had still collapsed, but I was uninjured, and nobody else seemed to think that that was strange. I didn't stick around much longer. I tried to go back to my former life, but it felt wrong. I didn't know who I was anymore or where I belonged. Like Scoob! I had to get back to Sudra to find the thing. I started with what I had learned there. I was determined to get to the bottom of it. That was all I had left. I will, I will watch the whole credits, don't worry. Developed solely by Tom Hap. <laughs> in memory of Max Hap, my best friend. Oh, rest in peace, Max. This is gonna be a short credits, isn't it? Other Sony. Metroid Other Sony. Shane Bettenhausen. Wasn't he an editor of... Like, Electronic Gaming Monthly at some point? Uh, I don't even... The name is so fucking familiar. See, this is interesting. I like to know how the game was built. Anime Studio Graphics Scale FNA 
mono game for force photoshop sonar sound forge tiled ultra edit visual studio jonathan blow is in the credits and same same with busta wolf He's in there. I don't know who that is, but man, that's a great name. Duck. Ah, oh, yes, Duck is in there. Ah, oh, hell, Duck. I thought I lost you, but you're just in the credits. Dance Rambo. Neaten it. Clemens. Clemens Scott. Featuring musical guests. Sickhead Games. With Graham Smith. Spencer again. Studio Bento. Kevin Wu. Noel Yaw. Stella Yaw. And of course, you. So, is that Trace? Okay, total time, 10 hours. Wow, down to the last millisecond, 78% of the items, 93% of the map, 24 deaths. Okay. Can I press a button now? Okay. ending you saw just now was a dream. The result you put him in a dream world. The end of these credits you'll see Trace lying on the ground here. Huh? You can get another ending by getting 80% of the items. Uh, can I get a link? I missed two goddamn items, and I didn't get the uh, the the good ending, or the hidden ending. God damn it! I wish I'd have known that. Well, I'm not gonna do this again, so may as well YouTube it. The creator has confirmed a sequel. Okay. It's not that great, but it supports the dream theory. Okay, well, let me close this and let's check it out. 100% post credits scene. Here it is. Give me a second here. All right, so it supports the idea that, the th that there's a theory. It's not a definite. But I guess it's a strong theory that they just put him into a dream and he didn't actually go back to his real life. Just a bit more. Who's there? Athetos. It's no use running from your own self. Time to wake up, Trace. So that was the stinger, huh? Interesting. So, I guess the story is that... Trace has got a gun. From what I gather of the story, there's, there's definitely a lot going on. And I don't fully understand all of it, but Trace was in an accident... Um, a scientist working in a lab 
um, while in his wheelchair, he starts thinking and he has an epiphany. Um, the blacklist starts calling him Athetos, which means without place. Doesn't sit well with regular physicists. I'm, I'm checking out a summary. Trace is able to cross the breach, which is a barrier, barrier between... I can't read tonight. It's, it's 3 a.m. Give me a break. Um, civilization has collapsed. Its inhabitants now no longer remember that purpose. Xenophobic society and shun outsiders. Trace arrives and discovers incredible technology. <clears throat> um, using this chamber to heal himself leaves behind an imprint of himself. Remember that part's important. At this point, the story becomes fuzzy, but Trace returns to Earth after this and sometime later returns to Sudra as Athetos. Upon his return, or maybe the reason for his return, he discovers the world beyond Sudra that the people of Sudra are keeping him from. This world is full of technological wonders that will end all war, strife, sickness on Earth. Athetos decides that he needs the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, and that the only way to bring this technology back to Earth means destroying the Sudrans, and he creates a pathogen which wipes out the Sudrans. Now, the only thing stopping him are the Risalki, giant war machines that guard Sudra. Initially, when he started his plan, one of them was aiding him. However, the other three, Alsnova, Ophelia, and Veruska, destroyed her and were able to foil his plan for the time being. However, he turned off their power source and they were left near dormant, degrading. Since they cannot stop him in this state, Ophelia comes up with a plan. She will create a copy of Trace from the leftover imprint when he first healed himself. This copy of the younger Trace is the player throughout the game and is able to stop Athetos. Once that's done, Elsnova sends his copy back through time to the point of the lab accident aftermath. There he cannot stop thinking about Sudra and he devotes his life to returning. At the end, he is near his goal of returning and we see a brief glint in his eye indicating that he is on the path of becoming Athetos again. Except, old Athetos says, Trace, it's time to wake up. And the theory is that um, there is nothing in the game that suggests Else Nova would have the ability to send someone through time or back to Earth. The game actually says that the Risalki cannot travel through the breach. However, we actually see Elsnova kill or turn off Trace at will, so she definitely has the ability to put him into stasis. Um, I, I believe instead that she pulled a matrix and put Trace into some kind of suspended animation where he believed he was back on Earth. And this evidence is further supported when, after the credits, it panned down to see a large Sudran, Sudran chamber with Trace's body lying dormant at the bottom. Um... Yeah, so there you go. That's a little summary of the story. For anyone who's curious, that was from Game Facts. And I think um I think it was a good story for a game like that. Like you wouldn't expect a Metroidvania game to have a story that has that many interesting kind of plot twist not really plot twists, but you know, kind of there's some stuff in there that makes you think a little bit. And also the fact that you can speculate about what the fuck really happened I like that I think it really adds to the game and uh, I didn't think I would play a game like Axiom Verge for the story like when I first started playing it there was nothing that to me indicated I was going to love the story and I don't really love the story but I thought it was really good and also by the time we hit the end and Trace met Athetos I was fully engaged and fully aroused but mostly fully engaged. And I think that it was handled pretty well. The plot twist to... I thought we were going to have to defeat Als Nova. And I thought maybe the plot twist would be that Trace sides with Athetos. And I think it would have been cool for the game to kind of maybe have that as an alternate. Like you can choose and then you fight one or the other and you get two endings. That probably would have been a pain in the ass, but I really do think that would have been cool and it would have added a lot to the game so and then for a sequel you can do something totally outrageous and original and right at the beginning you can determine you can say okay it asks you a question who did you side with last time and then you just pick but as is axiom verge is fucking highly highly quality and i can't recommend it enough if it goes on sale at any point don't hesitate. Just just pick it up. 
it really is a great game. And uh, I really think that any Metroid fans that are craving a new Metroid game will really, really enjoy it. So, great experience. I'm very, very happy with that game. 